All right, drone video for tract two at the Devil's Backbone. Uh, we're a few hundred feet into the property. Uh, that is the cleared site. Um, look like it's actually got a slope to it, so keep that in mind. It's not a not a leveled cleared site from what we could see there. There definitely are level areas on the property, um, but the guys probably chose that one because it was tucked in, had some privacy, and um, gives enough room that, that you can at least pull your truck off. So direct national forest, forest frontage along the north side and the south side. Pretty amazing property. It is surveyed at 7.61 acres in size. Uh, that's the private driveway that starts on the south end. And we're, we're flying southerly while we look down on the property. We're kind of facing northerly, but we're flying southerly. And I imagine we're going to get back to there we go. There's the easement road. Uh, looks like this video was done before the easement road was completed. So now we're actually over the national forest. Stunning, stunning tract. Uh, the hunting out here is phenomenal. To have actual national forest frontage is uh, is quite rare, and to have it on two sides is even more rare. <laughs> so you can hunt and camp, of course, on your own private acreage, and then you can go into the national forest for tens of thousands of acres of additional hunting, camping, and recreation. So that driveway goes northerly off of the easement road into the property. Uh, looks like a, a very long private driveway goes back in several hundred feet. Then you have that small cleared area. Uh, and the property continues from there. I believe we're going to do a full flyover. This is about a five minute video. So this is a late summer video. This was taken right after that uh, site and driveway were, were cleared. They were cleared with a mulcher. So if we were right down at the ground level, you'd see that um, uh, it, it's basically covered with mulch with the ground up trees. So by the springtime or whatnot, uh, there'll start to be some growth there and you'll have some greenery. So now we're going northerly. Um, the, the north side of the property is, uh, uh, is directly bordered by the National Forest. If you see that cleared line at the bottom of your screen, that is on the very north side of the property. So we're looking down property uh, south of the line, including the cleared line. National Forest on the north side of the line. So now looking right into the Mark Twain National Forest, tens of thousands of acres of public land for hunting, camping, um, swimming, fishing, I mean, all that good stuff. So the cleared line at the north side, uh, the only reason that's there is because um, when this was all one large contiguous tract, one of the owners um, of the large tract had uh, the, the entire exterior boundaries of the tract uh, bulldozed, uh, cleared out. Maybe he was going to build a fence. I mean, who knows? Um, so what that did was uh, on the individual tracks now, um, you've got that, that cleared area at the north end of the property, which is really nice because it gives you a nice definition between your private property and the national forest. So now we're flying back southerly. Uh, we're facing into the sun, which is why things look dark now. Not the ideal way to take a video, but it was a little later in the day, I'm sure, so that's why we're doing that. There we go. So there's the uh, the private driveway uh, and the clearing. And again, from what we could see earlier, uh, not a level clearing. Certainly there are level areas on the property, but uh, the clearing itself, not so much. Check out the ground video. That probably shows it better than the drone video, but... Um, yeah, it looks like it kind of slopes from from right to left, so from east to west. Don't have a topo map here while I'm doing the video. I wish I did. So usable site, but does have a slope to it. Um, something to keep in mind dozens of other spots on the property where you could certainly hunt or, or camp or whatnot. Uh, but this at a minimum gives you a place that you could you can pull in with your truck and get off the road. This tract actually may have a walking trail that goes north all the way to the National Forest or a four-wheeler trail. Um, it would have been done after this video was taken so we wouldn't have seen it but uh, something to, to look for when you're out there. Gorgeous tract, uh, instant owner financing, that's track two at the Devil's Backbone Project.